I am Walter Feit. Just a little bit about my background. I used to be an evolutionist, professor of zoology. We are honored and delighted to have Dr. Veit with us as a speaker. Um, for those of you who do not know Dr. Veit, he is a world-renowned scientist, lecturer, and author. He has a doctorate in zoology and has authored a number of books. Dr. Veit has lectured to standing room only crowds around the world um, on findings in science, nutrition, and disease. Of all mammals, human milk has the lowest protein content and the lowest ratio of casein to whey. Now, casein is the protein that you find in milk. And there is a huge production of milk, so if you make uh, evaporated products, then sometimes there is a huge excess of casein in the world. And you can find casein in just about anything, any product, from cookies to baking to power drinks to you name it, you will find casein. And casein is species specific. It's a very specific feeding protein. It's a very compact protein and it needs special circumstances for digestion. So casein, for example, needs a special enzyme which will unravel it so that it can be cleaved in the normal digestion process. And in infants, uh, or in, in calves, the, the product that will do that is called renin. And renin curdles the milk and opens up the molecule for digestion. And so animals will produce this either in the lining of the gut, you will find pigs producing this, and calves produce it, and you can use this renin as well as an extract in the cheese production because it will help to curdle of the milk. So casein is pretty species specific. The amino acid composition in different species is different. But of all mammals, human milk has the lowest protein content and the lowest ratio of casein to whey. Here's the journal Pediatrics. You don't get better journals than these in terms of children. Babies who are fed whole cow's milk during the second six months of life may experience a 30% increase in intestinal blood loss and a significant loss of iron in their stools. Now why should the infant bleed internally if it gets cow's milk? The answer again lies in the protein. The casein that occurs in the cow's milk is very hard to digest, which would mean that the situation inside the gut is such that it is very more acidic than normal and very irritating to the intestine so that these young intestines actually bleed in the process and you lose um, iron that way. And adults have the same problem. People who have ulcers, for example, should never ever have any dairy product in their systems because of the irritating nature of the digestive process involved. So the first problem about dairy products is the type of protein. The protein, casein, is very hard to digest. You need very special enzymes in order to do it. And mother's milk has human casein, and the baby would find that hard to digest. But the mother has nodes in the breast where bacteria are raised, which are called bacillus bifidus, and this bacterium is injected together with the milk and helps to digest the casein. And then the infants also have small amounts of renin. In a cow, on the other hand, the calf produces large amounts of renin to cope with this huge influx of casein. So that's the way we deal with casein. Once a, a mammal in general is weaned, then it stops producing renin and it cannot digest casein adequately anymore. In fact, once an animal is weaned, it should never, ever, ever get milk again and there is not a mammal in the world that will naturally drink milk after it is weaned. Not a mammal in the world, except the human being. 
And all of us switch off the enzymes which enable us to digest the casein adequately once we are weaned. So none of us have this.